Dr. Wendy Walsh. Wendy Walsh is a psychologist. Dr. Wendy Walsh. Wendy Walsh. She's a family therapist. Dr. Wendy Walsh. Dr. Wendy Walsh joins me now. What's going on? Wendy Walsh, she's an author and relationship expert. Because when women are disadvantaged, marriage rates go up, more kids are born in wedlock, virginity is coveted. When women start to make their own money and get educated, they just enjoy the pleasures of their body. They put sex out in the culture in high supply. But what happens to men in a high supply sexual economy? They're less likely to commit because they can text in a herd any night of the week now. So you're not telling women not to try to be successful? Not at all. And men may be a little bit more open to this idea of an open relationship. Men don't have the same biological wiring to bond through sex that women do. You're dead on. What about it, Dr. Walsh? You know, single guys consume pornography either on their computers or their iPhones for about 40 minutes three times a week. Married guys, on average, 1.7 times a week for 20 minutes. Wendy Walsh is a doctor of psychology and a relationship expert. Please welcome Dr. Wendy Walsh to the doctor's family. Welcome. welcome. Even if you think you've had the talk with your kids, what we're about to reveal will make you want to have another one tonight. Really, what men want from a woman? Because we all know they want a virgin who's a whore. What drives all this madness? Let me bring in our expert here, Wendy Wall. She's a family therapist and an expert in human behavior. Generally, men self-identify by how they can bring resources into the family. They are ultimately the providers, right? And I read a study recently that says women are having trouble adapting to the hookup culture. Duh! Oh, I are. am the single mother here. So you're saying that I'm raising strippers with my daughters? Joining us now from Los Angeles, psychologist Dr. Wendy Walsh. Give me one example of the hate email and tell me why anybody would do that. Well, I wish I could, but I can't say those words on TV, Bill. You know, I like to think that women are the custodians of the social order, especially when it comes to sexuality. Author of 30 Day Love Detox, please welcome Dr. Wendy Walsh. When I was going through this book with the producers, I was telling them, man, I've never seen a woman nail it. This, I was you. just pretty impressed. And the author of the 30 Day Love Detox, Dr. Wendy Walsh. Is the change of hair a, a, a sort of a statement that you're no longer sexually interested or? Well, <laughs> I myself do not date young men very often. So raising kids takes this really expensive thing called time. And if you take a lot of time off work, then it's really hard to get back in the game because, you know, our culture doesn't support motherhood very much, does it? He, he had sex like with her for eight years. That's clearly but bisexual. You know, you you know. Bottom line is open communication, love your kid, stay bonded and attached. There's a really unfair pressure on women to be hot moms. And this is not a time in our life. Remember, long-term monogamy is filled with phases and stages. And this is a time where women shouldn't worry too much about being a Victoria's Secret supermodel. Why do these wives stand by their accused men? Well, women love love. <laughs> women define themselves through their relationships. So is it now um, society has to catch up to technology? Any man who brings the germs of 16 or maybe more women to his family, germs that could carry a deadly virus, uh-uh-uh, he loses. That. It's the same old story. Some people are going to be unfaithful and have bad morals. They just have new pathways. I have to say that, you know, feminine liberated masculinity in women. It didn't liberate femininity, uh -huh. and that was a good thing. We needed to have some parity on the economic playing field. But somehow the backlash to squelch everything feminine, like motherhood. You can get arrested for breastfeeding in public. Know. You know that? I mean, yeah. it's insane. Bad boys are kind of what I call a random interval reward system. They're like a slot machine in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But you're hoping they're going to pay off and be a really good guy at some point, because when they do pay in little dribs and drabs along the way, it's really nice. Where should politicians, or really anyone for that matter, draw the line in the online world. I have to come to Vegas. I have to really do this to you. And mm -hmm. her saying, yes, come on, baby. So this was foreplay for an affair, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Before, did you know that 43% of women admit to sending a sext, which yeah. is a frisky email, and 27% admit to sending a naked picture of themselves? Can divorce really be contagious? It's that poor relationship skills are transmitted to the next generation. That you so, just answered the next question. If a guy cheated before, there's a good chance he'll cheat in the future. Has he done it? Has he done it? Wow. Wendy Walsh, interesting conversation. A lot of people talking about this one today. Thank you.